Imagine a world where the electronic circuits that we build are infinitely adaptable, instead of the fixed circuits we know today. Imagine that these circuits could repair themselves on their own and could learn by themselves how to adapt to different situations. Professor Navasetter is showing us how these circuits of the future will be created. The magic of the cartoon is that it is not confined by the constraints of the real world. Let's go into a cartoon. Hey, follow me. Have you ever noticed that electronic circuits look like tiny cities with their own buildings and streets? But just like a city, these circuits are fixed. You cannot change them the way you want. However, this is precisely what we're intending to do. By using this new material, we can inject electrical pulses that can attract electrons, which creates a circuit along the way. We can recreate the same phenomenon at various points in order to alter the circuit as we want. It is as though you were walking through a futuristic city where you could change the street layout. A city that would reconstruct itself before your eyes according to your needs. This is exactly what we're trying to achieve. To do this, Professor Navasetter uses a new kind of microscope that allows her to test the new materials which will be used in the construction of these futuristic electronic circuits. This is the tool which we use to test our reconfigurable materials. It's the so-called scanning probe microscope, but it's very different from the conventional optical microscope. It doesn't use the optics, like we use our eyes, but it uses rather the touch, like we use our hands to search for things in the dark. But it's much more precise, indeed because the fingers are very sharp needles, just with few atoms on the tip. And the needle runs over the surface and reads the map of the city like the, the vinyl record. But how it can be useful? Well, imagine like our hands can move with the objects around us. The needle can be used to move with the basic objects inside the material, with the walls and bricks, to change the map of the city. So, why do we need reconfigurable materials? Well, if we look at this circuit, we can see that its layout is fixed. But if we could change its layout or reconfigure it, like changing the arrangement of roads in a city, we can imagine that we can change its function or even allow it to repair. So, for example, if your coffee machine is broken, it's easy to replace. But if a circuit is in a remote location, such as a satellite in space, or a medical implant inside the human body, then it's much more difficult to replace. If we could allow reconfigurability, then the circuit could repair itself. This possibility opens the door to a new era in which intelligent and resilient circuits will present themselves as the future of electronics.